Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it is so good to be able to greet you on this important occasion in the life of Couples for Christ as you come together to celebrate the 39th anniversary of your founding. Couples for Christ is such an important aspect of the life of the church today. You are called by the expression of your love for each other to give great witness to a modern world, a world that is suffering, a world that suffers many times from sicknesses such as individualism, whereby we see only our own personal interests and the love that you have for each other becomes one of the most important aspects of teaching the Word of God to the world today. I would certainly have preferred to be standing physically in front of you all, but as you all know and have experienced over the last couple of months, that is just not possible at this time. Today you have chosen as the theme for your gathering holiness from home healing for the whole world certainly God in some way had a hand in the decision to make this theme your focus of talks and understanding and communication during this event because Nothing could be more appropriate for the world in which we are living at this present moment in history. With this theme, you try to emphasize and your desire is to emphasize the fruitfulness of the charism that God has given to each one of you. And guess what? We are doing this in the midst of a global health crisis which does more to separate us than it does to unite us. It is indeed a wise choice inspired by God and he wishes to remind us once again of the importance of married life and the importance of family in the world today and as this crisis global crisis continues to rage in many parts of the world it is all the more important that we show the world after the after this pandemic that there is a new world to be lived and that is the love of Jesus Christ and how Jesus 2,000 years ago taught us to live and to love each other. When we look and ask ourselves what is it in married life that helps us to live in the world today? Undoubtedly it is the presence of Jesus Christ himself. Marriage is the sacrament by which we show the world the love and the presence of Christ in our families and in our society. That's what you do. That's the mission that you have as couples for Christ. So I encourage you all. I encourage you to continue to exemplify the very person of Jesus Christ by the way you love and care for each other and the way as families you express your unity and your love for the whole world. Certainly during these days of lockdown or stay in place or whatever the word is that's used to describe this present situation, it has not been easy. I am not married, 
But I can assure you, when people are locked together in the same space for such amount of period of time, with no other activity and no other distractions, it can be a challenge. But it is all a challenge that will make our love stronger. Because if we accept the challenge of God, we will learn to live as Jesus did, with compassion, with forgiveness, with understanding, with support for all those who suffer and are in pain. People who are elderly, couples, I think of elderly couples so often. We think that they are frightened. We think of having to raise young couples with young children and the struggles of entertaining the family when you are locked inside the walls of your apartment or inside of your house. It is a challenge, but a grace that God will also give and reward us. I see in the world today, and I see in the family situation during this period, two special challenges. One is the fact that we are together in a confined space. But that challenge should deepen our love an understanding that without each other we cannot live and survive. It is the support and the love of each one of us, the support and love we have for our children, and the support and love that we receive from our children that is and helps us to walk through this valley of darkness. The second challenge that's facing us is that many times we do not have in our churches the sacramental help when we can receive Jesus sacramentally present physically body and soul we cannot have that privilege but does that in no way denies the presence of Christ it is a time when as a family we can pray together, we can read the Gospels together, we can comment them together, we can speak about the Gospel to our Jesus, to our children, and to ourselves, and we can learn that where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among you. That was the promise of Jesus Christ, and it's the promise to each one of you. I think that holiness of life and holiness as you understand it in marriage and holiness as you understand it in your families is essential for the future world. What kind of a culture are we going to create in this post pandemic world. It is more love for each other and more love of Jesus Christ. I encourage you all and I pray that you will understand the challenge that you are faced with in tomorrow's world. I pray that God will grant you always the patience, the endurance and the fortitude to overcome all the challenges that everybody faces in life. But yet, we know that God walks with us, even in this valley of darkness that we as a world are going through at this moment. May God bless you all, and may God continue to bless couples for Christ in the future. Your mission is so important for the world of tomorrow. Be an expression of Christ's love for his people as you are called to be. Thank you and may God bless you all.